What's up, print fam? Welcome back to the print shop. So recently I asked in the Facebook group what some of you are struggling with. And one of the things was getting more customers. So I wanted to walk you through what I'm going to attempt to do with the fiber lasers. The reason why I've been pushing them and what I'm gonna do to grow that customer base. A quick shout out to firesprint.com for sponsoring today's episode but let's jump right into it the fiber lasers a lot of you think i'm crazy i am the fact that i now have four lasers we got two fibers the gantry co2 and then over here we've got the galvo co2 that's not quite set up so it's been a very lucrative business i've got a video coming out explaining why i've done it because a lot of people are like you're crazy the video will explain why. So make sure you're subscribed so you can find that out. Now with the fiber lasers, I specifically found a few niche products, or I guess with the lasers in general, I found a few niche products that have worked really well, specifically with the fibers. It's all about the pens. So let me show you. So we've currently got about 30,000 pens in stock. We've got a bunch of different colors. They're all labeled, etc. We actually just got a new order today and I'm about to place another order because they take about 30 days to come in. So I always wanna have some like in progress to make sure I never run out because everyone has a certain amount and I wanna make sure I have what's on hand. So what I'm doing is I'm building out a website. What that website is gonna allow me to do is send customers there. They will be able to on the fly type what they want on the pen, preview that design, and then have that design sent to me in a vector format that I can automatically run on the lasers. So it is, it's a very niche thing. It's pen.city, I've talked about it before. I'm upgrading the website, I'm spending some money, getting it done, having someone else do it, because I just don't have the time. Really, it's not that expensive. We can talk about that at another time if you want to. But the idea behind it is we're gonna get pens more automated than they already are. I wrote some software, which I've got a video explaining that to automatically load it. Now we're getting the website that's gonna automatically make the files so that they can hopefully be automatically loaded even more so on the lasers. Now, aside from that, building the website, you also gotta push it. You gotta go after it. You gotta people, you gotta get people to the website. So let me explain what I'm gonna do. A really good example of this is actually the sample book from our video sponsor, Firesprint. So they have a sticker here. So the book itself is unbranded, but they branded it with their sticker. So if you don't want their branding on the booklet, you can peel it off. So this is a great way to like have a product that's branded, but also unbranded at the same time. So it gives you flexibility. Like you could totally make something like this, but then print a sticker with the customer's information. The cool thing about this book is it has samples for all of their stuff. So it's got samples of the banner that like, it's a legit banner, but like if you peeled this off, it looks just like this. So it's got samples, like it's got the magnet, it's got the perforated vinyl, it's got a sticker sheet, individual stickers, it's got styrene and polyethylene and PVC and like all of the stuff that they do. So like, you can see this one falls out. Like, it's literally the same thing. So this is a really good example of like something you could do that has a higher impact on people. I love having this book here because then my customers can look through it and see. And I don't mind this as Fire Sprint because Fire Sprint won't sell to end users. So I don't mind that it has their branding, but it's super nice to be able to be like, yep, these are some things that we can do. So it's super helpful and they can look through, they can feel it, they can touch it. So good segue to, this is a bunch of things Firesprint can help you with. They're trade only, so they will only sell to you. So if you have questions, contact them. They'll give you 10% off your first order using the link down in the description. All right. So thing number one that I'm gonna start doing is in all the orders that I get, I'm gonna put this little thank you business card it just says let's read it thank you for your order we appreciate you supporting our small business take 10% off 
with code PC10 off. 10 city, 10 off. So I'm going to start sending this out with all of the orders because it's easier to incentivize someone that's already purchased from you to buy again. The second thing I've done is I've made this little postcard. The postcard has all the pens, all the different colors that I have. It's got a little paragraph and it also has the coupon code. Theoretically, I should put a different coupon code so I can track which one is working or not working. That's for another time. Right now, it's just about driving traffic there. So with this, I'm going to take it to local businesses and or I'm going to mail it to them. Right now, specifically, I'm going to target other print and promotional product shops. And the reason why is because if I can get in with them, they will place bigger orders because if they have customers that want pens and stuff, they're used to ordering 100, 200, 500 pieces. And so it's better to get in with those types of companies. Once I can get some of those customers in, then I'm going to go after individual business owners. There's also consumers that buy my products, or specifically the pens, but businesses tend to buy more, but print and promotional people buy the most. So that's who I'm going to go after first. So Taylor doesn't know it yet, but he's going to start curating a list. And likely what I'll end up doing is I will make a pen sample. Some of you may have seen other companies do this. Pens.com does it. I'm going to go more above and beyond or above and beyond what they do. Just because I'm not a huge conglomerate, I'm going to let people know I'm not a huge conglomerate because people like to do business with people. I'm also not going to scam people or convince them that they're getting something. And my pricing is very basic. It's very set. It's very simple. It's not confusing like frankly, some of the other companies are. So that is the initial goal. So this can apply to anything that you can do. I have another one for my business that I have this flyer that it just has kind of the main categories of things that I do. And on the back side, it has contact information, explains who we are. So that if I want to stop in and do just the general business, super helpful. But when like the reason why like I'm doing this postcard and I'm going to go after businesses and do them basically a spec sample is because when people can feel it and touch it and see it, they're more likely to like move on, like move through with it, go on with the purchase. So if you can do something to like incentivize that sale, whether it is giving them a discount or providing them a sample, it goes a long way. So. Like to reference that, I brought in some speakers. I made a sample for my best customer and now they want to order a few hundred of them. It's super stressful because those are not cheap products to bring in, but it just goes to show the power of a sample basically. And it doesn't have to be specific to their business. It can be just a generic sample. It can be just samples that like you have of your own product with your own branding like i give stuff away like that too but it makes more of an impact if it's their brand so make sure you're subscribed i'm going to do some of this marketing effort and i'm going to post another video that gives you an update on it because the idea behind specifically the pen business is to trade dimes for dollars or quarters for dollars or whatever way you want to phrase it basically whatever amount of money i spend in marketing i want to exponentially get more back so i want to find that right balance i want to find is it best to like get to the point where there's a person that their entire job is making one-off pens that get sent to someone or is it better to curate the list and find better partners and better people or is it better to just do an every door direct mail and just bulk mail it out like or do you do instagram ads or facebook ads or what do you do but it's always a matter of like knowing that you have to spend money to make money and finding that balance. I like the initial balance of going to see people because I know I always get something out of that. It's not a hundred percent conversion, but I always get a return. 
And so that's what I like to do initially to kind of grease the wheel, to get sales going, to get things flowing so that I can make money. So let me know if you have questions. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow along. Let me know something that you do that has worked well so hopefully others can learn as well. Thank you, Cam, for writing the video. Thank you, Fire Sprint, for sponsoring the video. And we'll see you all in the next one. Print fam.